What's good, Crown family? Hope you're having a good day today. If not, I hope the video bring a little light to your day. Make sure you smash the subscribe, hit that like button, and also hit that bell to become a part of the notification squad. Also, after this video, be sure to check out my newest song. It's called 2020. The link will be in the pinned comment. Today, we're going to check out uh, a new video from the one and only Hobson. This is not a music video. This is just... Uh, I guess an update of how he's doing, man. But hey, let's go ahead and get straight to this. I just got dropped off by the Uber driver, not Uber wow. taxi, out here in Thailand. Fuck, I think this is the place. Hello? What the fuck has been going on with Hobson? Where is Hobson been? These are the yeah, Hops has been missing for a minute, but I know he's been dealing with some things and, you know, trying to get better, man. So Sometimes, you know, when you're going through things like that, you got to step away from social media, and, you know, and everything and just kind of get your life together, man. And I definitely understand why he took time off, man. The questions I get all the fucking time every single fucking day. Okay. Oh, oh this is pretty nice. It's too goddamn hot. This shirt ain't gonna fucking cut it. Yeah, I told everybody I wasn't gonna put any more music out until I felt like doing that, until I found myself and whatever the fuck that meant or means. And yeah, man, over the past three years, I've been super depressed. I totally lost myself. Okay. That's gonna have to do. My dumbass only brought these kind of shirts. I don't know mm -hmm. why I did that. Oh man. Wow. That pool is nice. It's a beautiful place he's standing. There we go. <laughs> I can't believe I'm fucking here right now. You know, in December of 2019, I actually realized I was like, yo, a lot of my fucking depression stems from ideas that I made up myself in my own fucking head of what my life should be. And then those ideas of what my life should be came from like the media or people around me or the music industry and it's just a, a, a false reality that I, that I was living in and I, and I realized that and I'm like yo these ideas are corrupting me Thanks. I've convinced myself that these ideas are mine and they were not mine and I'm trying to fulfill this dream that isn't really my dream or my fantasy at all facts man it's like you know I'm pretty sure the people that's a Everybody has this idea of Hobson, you know, like you slept on, oh, you should be here by now, you should be as big as this artist, you should be as big as such and such, I don't see how you're not as big as them, when in reality, that might not even been Hobson's dream to be as big as these artists are, you know, his fellow peers, maybe his dream was just to make music and, 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 and to do what he loved, but you know, when you hear it so much, it kind of becomes like, damn, maybe, maybe I, I do need to be where these other artists are, you know, Maybe I need to start working hard, and you started to lose your mind. And I, I, hey, I, I, can, I can relate to that. that. You have changed for 1,000 baht. Okay, okay. Where are you at home, man? Los Angeles, California. California. Yes. When, when, when do we leave the boat? When do we go? Now. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, oh. Oh, okay. We're good. <laughs> the further I, you know, would jump into the music stuff, the more depressed I got. You know, it takes a lot of effort and energy to keep your fan base satisfied and all that shit, and it was just stressing me out on top of the life issues that I was going through. I've done a lot of therapy, a lot of hypnotherapy as well. I've found some shit out about myself that I just never knew. Oh, yeah, that was a really big wave, man. <laughs> if I live a life where I don't have any expectations of anybody, and I just fully take control and take accountability of everything that's happened in my life, if I let go of what the world has taught me as far as ideas and what happiness is and what I should be doing in the music industry and how many cars and bitches and how famous I should be and how much money I should have, if I let go of all those ideas and just embrace the now of what I am, I feel like that'll be a good fucking start to me actually being, you know, my definition of happy. Facts, man. And it's crazy because, like, 
social media, even us, like, you know, I feel like this can happen to anybody in any lane because it's just like we watch all these social media stars or these celebrities and we see them living this life or this fantasy life of just, you know, having money or, you know, having all these cars or, you know, being able to buy what they want, being able to go on vacation whenever they want to. And it's like, they, it's like, you know, the world creates this idea like, you know, this is success. You know, if, if you don't have this, you know, you're not successful. So you need to keep working. And so you work your whole life for something that, you know, that when you, in, in reality, if you was to actually get it, it might not even mean the same. I might not even really make you happy. Like, you truly got to find within, like, what's going to truly make you happy, man. And, and that's pretty much why he's probably on this journey, you know, to figure out, you know, what's going to make him happy, you know, and not and stop chasing these ideas that people put in his head of what happiness is or what success is. Living on a fucking island near the fucking beach with animals, monkeys, elephants. I fucking left and moved to Thailand. I just left, like, just packed my shit and fucking left. I'm here right now and it feels fucking amazing, I'm not gonna lie. And I also don't wanna pretend like I've reached my ultimate level of happiness because this is definitely a process and I have a lot of work to do, but I feel a lot better and I can honestly say that that dark cloud that I felt over me is gone and you know, the skies are clearing up. I, I don't feel this weight on my heart anymore. And every day I'm just trying to better myself and understand that I don't need wow. to put expectations into anybody. I just need to focus on myself and focus on what I need to do to better my life and myself and not put that in anybody else's hands. I don't want to let anybody else have control over me. I don't want to give anybody that power. I never will do that again. Facts, man. Is there such thing as enough? Do I have to have the mentality of like, I made a million, now I gotta make five. Now Thanks. I made five, now I gotta make 20. Now I made 20, now I gotta make a billion. Like, is that really the way to live life? Or is there, is there a point where you go, yo, I'm good, dog. Exactly. I'm good. And that's, so, and that's crazy, because a lot of us be chasing that, bro. It's like, Oh, first, you know, want to accomplish our dreams, and then we want to make this type of money, and then when we, then when we actually get there, it's like, damn, man, okay, this was cool. Now, now I want to get to that next level, and then it's that next level, that next level, and and it's so crazy because, um, like, you can have that type of stuff, and it's just like you don't even sit there and realize how far you come. A lot of us don't even realize how far we come, all the things we didn't accomplish in life. Like even now, like we at, at the point you're at now, like. Imagine where you f were before, you know, like maybe five or 10 years ago and look where you're at now. Like you accomplished a lot in life, man. Like everybody's success and, and idea of happiness is not the same. Like we don't all have to be rich to be happy, you know, but I hey, continue. Yeah, But that's beautiful, man. Beautiful, man. I'm, I'm really happy he's, you know, finding himself and, you know, trying to figure out what makes him happy. And he's not out here trying to do for others and trying to be what everybody else want him to be instead of him trying to figure out what he wants to be in life. But, hey, man, salute to Hotson, man. Even if he doesn't make another song or, you know, maybe music is not his next path, you know, I'm happy he found in happiness, man. That's a good thing. And I, and I hope his fans can understand that also. Like, you know, just because you love something and you love doing it don't mean that's going to be something you're going to do forever. You know, like like your heart and, and, and things you love to do is going to change in life. Like he could want to be a chef or, you know, whatever, you know, it, it, it you never know, man. But hey, salute to Hobson, man. I appreciate y'all for watching, man. Y'all be safe out there and we out. Salute, crowd family. Yo.